Get ready to match the star, Avery Shriver, Brett Summer, Charles Nelson Riley, Barbara Rose, from Family Feud, Richard Dawson, and Betty White, as we play the star-studded big money match game, PM. And now, here's the star of match game, PM, Gene. Hello there, it's Gene Wilder. <laughs> no, we welcome you and thank you for joining us and we thank you for joining us. Aren't you a dandy looking bunch? Charles, <laughs> you're wearing a brown velvet jacket. What does yeah. that mean? It means I have good taste. Oh, and you didn't buy you it from much. the man I bought it from. Yes. yes. You yes. didn't buy it from no, him, did you? No, no I bought it from Because he warned me about wearing blue. With yes, it. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Would you welcome Gus Kushler and Puff Contreras? We welcome the two of you. Thank you. Before we begin this competition, may we ask uh, each of you to tell us a little bit about yourselves. Puff, we'll begin with you. My name is Puff Contreras. You're Puff Contreras. But it's not because of my present condition. What is your present condition? Puffy. Oh, <laughs> you're puffy. Oh, yes. Oh, I see that now. It's hard to tell when you're sitting down. <laughs> you are puffy. A little bit. I've been married for four and a half years. We have no children, but uh, in about three and a half weeks, we will. Three and a half weeks, you will. Well, yes. that's wonderful. We're very happy for you. Thank you. What is your real name, Puff? Elizabeth. Elizabeth is your. You look like an Elizabeth, doesn't she? Look I don't like feel an Elizabeth? like an Elizabeth. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that's what you were just like saying Elizabeth. That. She looks like Elizabeth. All right. Good luck to you, Puff. Gus, uh, where are you from, and all that sort of stuff? I'm from Escondido. Escondido. That is God's country. It's a beautiful place. Thank you, sir. Yes. I've been down there about seven years, have a lovely wife, and a home manager. Not her, our miniature schnauzer. Oh, runs I'm, the whole thing. Right. I'm right. retired, but uh, my wife is still working. She's in communications. Aren't we all? Right. Right. <laughs> Good luck to both of you here Thank on Match you. Game PM. Thank Each you. of you will have three opportunities to match as many of our celebrated stars as you possibly can. The one who's done that most often at the end of the third round will be the winner and will go on to play the Big Money Super Match, which can pay off over $10,000. No, so here we go. Okay, Puff. A and B. B. We're off and running. Hey, did you hear about Tough Tony? No. Well, to show everyone how tough he was, he went to the zoo and blanked a porcupine. <laughs> That's tough. That is really tough. You got that dress at a kimono sale. Talk about dating yourself, a kimono sale. Puff, when was the here last it is. Time you heard the word kimono? Tough Tony, <laughs> to show everyone how tough he was, he went to the zoo and blanked a porcupine. He bit him. He bit a porcupine. <laughs> Needle stuck in his teeth. Had a terrible time. Painful thing. Avery? I thought it was tougher than that. I had him hugging you. He hugged a porcupine. <laughs> that would get him full of needles and quills. What do you say? No, no. He sat on him. He's been singing some brown on every <laughs> Okay, Chuck. He pet a porcupine. He pet a porcupine. <laughs> Well, all of those things would be painful and get him in trouble. Puff is looking for the answer, bit. Tough Tony went to the zoo and blanked a porcupine. She said he bit a porcupine. Did you hear how they booed and hissed? Yeah. They booed and hissed Charles' answer. No, her answer. Oh, her answer. Yes, of course. Yes. Good. Well, yeah. I tell you, Barbara, they're a fickle bunch. They booed yes. her answer and they cheered yours. Amazing, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Wow. I said hugged. He hugged a porcupine. Yeah, it doesn't isn't hurt him, except when he drinks water now, he has to wear a raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sprinkler That's system, a built in. <laughs> right. What do you say well, there? Well, animal lover that I am, he made love to a porcupine. Made love to a porcupine. Oh, dear. All right, Gus, you ready for yours? Yes, sir. Here it is. Betty White said. What? 
She said, my husband, Alan London, is not quite as funny as a barrel of monkeys, but he's just about as funny as a case of blank. <laughs> not quite as funny as a barrel of monkeys, but just about as funny as a case of blank. Well, Here we I go, Gus. Biddy White said, my husband, Alan London, not quite as funny as a barrel of monkeys, but he is just about as funny as a case of... Measles. Measles is a very good answer. You did get the idea. We got the idea, and I hope you did, uh, too. Yes. Well, close. Case of hives. Hives. <laughs> All right. No, I went for the you said chicken. I st stuck in with the animals and the bites. I said chicken pox. That's quite funny as a barrel of monkeys. A case of chicken pox. Oh, all right. That's See? good. Two Does acceptable anybody answers. get it? Three Is there answers. anybody out there? Yes. Flu. <laughs> Flu. Three diseases so far. <laughs> chicken pox. <laughs> got a lot of diseases here. Yeah. What do you say? This is where Barbara gets to show how dumb she is. What is that? <laughs> Case of beer. <laughs> Case of beer. <laughs> Case of beer. They are strange. They are. <laughs> You're Rich? not just another pretty face. <laughs> <clears throat> Measles. Measles. There is one for that. Now, Betty White, we come to you for the moment of truth. Thank you, Barbara, for the least obnoxious answer so far. Yeah. Do you realize this is my husband you're talking about? Oh, we're just you tell us that, Does anyone realize that? Yes, we all love him. It's your husband. Uh, a case of the flu. The flu. <laughs> the flu. There we go. End of round one. One to one to score. Round two coming up after this. Hurry right back. May I point out to one and all assembled that uh, each of our contestants will receive the home version of the match game. Have a lot of fun with that. There you go. Thank you. Now, let's go to round two here. Puff, you went first uh, last time. Since the score is tied, Gus, we're going to ask you to go first this time. B, please. B it is. Now, ready? Mm -hmm. Fred said, my wife is really ugly. How ugly is she? She may be the mother of my children, but she looks like the mother of my blank. <laughs> my wife is really ugly. She may be the mother of my children, but she looks like the mother of my blank. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Gus. Fred said, my wife is really ugly. She may be the mother of my children, but she looks like the mother of my... Cow. Cow. <laughs> Did you get a round-trip bus ticket from Escondido? Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I worry about you, Gus. What do you say? I really don't know his wife. Uh, dog is what I'm Dog! Hey, hey, I'm a hero! <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel all warm inside? Oh, I love it. <laughs> what do you got there? Now, nowhere does it say old MacDonald had a farm, right? No. No, no it's mother of the dog. Or hair of the dog. dog. Right. Yes, Chuck. Three boxer dogs. Three boxer dogs. Now we come to you, Barbara. My wife is really ugly. She may be the mother of my children, but she looks like the mother of my... Dog. Dog. That would have worked well for you, Gus, if you'd said that. Richard doesn't play. Betty, what do you say? Well, I, I think the mother of my dog. Animal lover. Dog! I didn't say dog because I have a handsome dog, and I, I wouldn't it. dare insult him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to insult your dog, eh? No, sir. You don't care about the money? You're going to blow the whole game because you don't want to insult your dog? That's right. Okay. Well, you're a happy loser, isn't he? Sure. No, this game is far from decided. We don't know who is going to win. I think it's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. This is yours, Pop. At the wedding, as soon as the bride's family saw what the groom looked like, they threw blank out the widow. Out what? The widow? Both us. What's wrong? You usually, ask lower usually tier, you, dude. you ask us. Oh yes. Then you go over oh there. yes, of course. Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe this would be a good way to play it. We've that never tried, we it, tried it that way. Anyway, you think about it now, pup. At the wedding, as soon as the bride's family saw what the groom looked like, they threw blank out the window. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> I think so. Okay. Finish, Chuck. At the wedding, as soon as the bride's family saw what the groom looked like, they threw blank out the window. Him. Threw him out the window. The groom. Okay. You say him. What do you say? Well, being a master of suspense, I said her. Her. 
That's one. <laughs> they <laughs> applauded you last time, well, and they turned on you this time. Well, that's it, ups and downs. Here are one day in the tournament. <laughs> what do you say? Well, it's going to be interesting, isn't it? I think so. Him. Him. <laughs> All right. Here's to the bun in the oven. <laughs> Whatever that means. Gail Sondergaard really didn't want that. <laughs> the bride. The bride. That's not him. All right, Barbara, we'll skip you since you've already matched her. Yes. Richard, we come to you. As soon as his uh, family saw what the groom looked like, they threw him out the window. That's where they got that saying. Here comes the bride. Her, oh, I see. They threw the bride out the window so she could escape. We'd have to marry exactly. this on... Again, they look all over there. They are. Yes, ma'am. I ma must not have understood the question because I, I went to the source. They threw the minister out the window. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that would prevent the union. <laughs> all right. Now, there we are at the end of round two. We'll go to round three. The score is two to one in your favor. And Puff, since you're ahead, we'll ask you to go first. A or B? A, please. A it is. All right. Here we go. Harry said to the clothing salesman, Mister, I'd like to buy one sock. And the salesman said, but sir, you have two feet. And Harry said, it's not for my feet. I'm going to put it on my blank. Isn't that strange? You're psychic. You don't play. What is that? I don't. You don't play because you matched in the previous round. You don't play. I don't play. While we're waiting for Charles to make up his mind, may I uh, point out to all assembled that this lady has a picture that's in release now. Doc Simon's picture, right? Yes, called The Goodbye Girl. Yes. Puff, you ready? Yes. Harry said to the clothing salesman, Mister, I'd like to buy one sock. And the salesman said, But, sir, you have two feet. And Harry said, It's not enough for my feet. I'm going to put it on my blank. Head. Head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you look unhappy, Avery. Now, you had one match, and they cheered you. Yeah, Remember well, that one. You know the last one? Yes. Well, it's funny, because I'm a fetishist in ways. Uh, I had a nose. Put it on a nose. Nose is a perfectly good response. Nose or head? You don't play, Charles? Close. Not so good. Not so good nose? I said dachshund. <laughs> Put it on my dachshund. Well, he's the one with the dachshund. She's the one who's going to have the baby very soon. You got all mixed up there, Charles. The... All right. Where did he put this sock? One sock. What do you say to that? Put it on the head. Head. Yeah. All right. Three for four. <laughs> yes? Richard says, I've got to get it back on the lamp very soon. Right. Um, head. Head it is. All right. That's four for her. Now, Gus, that means you have a little catching up to do. Here's the situation. It's four to one. You can tie her with three, and then we have to go to a tiebreaker. Or if you match four celebrities, you can win the game. Mm -hmm. Everyone who's hit Richard will play. The psychiatrist said, my next patient keeps running off to Australia. His family retrieves him, and he goes right back. He thinks he's a blank. Okay, Gus. The, the psychiatrist said, my next patient keeps running off to Australia. His family retrieves him, and he goes right back. He thinks he's a blank. A jet pilot. You're going to be all right. We'll get you some aspirin, and the pains will stop. Two, please. Two, please. Yes, of course. Always take two aspirin. <laughs> Never one. <laughs> Maybe. Now, I know we have to accept your answer as a jet pilot, Gus, but just think about it for a second. Is there any other thought that comes to your mind? Mayday. No. Okay. <laughs> did you write that? that question? No, I didn't. Know. I don't write any of the questions. How, how can anybody run off to Australia? <laughs> well, that's There's just no a... Trying to be it's, it's just, us. It's just uh, well, a figure all. of speech. That's all it is there. Avery, what have you got in your card there? I told you blue and brown was dangerous. <laughs> 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 Happens to be a very smart combo. Yes. Very nice. Thank yeah. you. I had... <laughs> thinks he's a boomerang. Boomerang. <laughs> I got a little Australia, you, you see. That's two yays in one show. You're breaking your all-time record. What do you say? I said he thought he was a kangaroo. Kangaroo and boomerang. <laughs> now, you got to match the remaining ones, Gus, to stay in the game and achieve a tie. Chuck? I went along with the Oriental boy. Kangaroo, that means puppy wins the game. Yeah. Boomerang and boomerang. Hey, I'm my dear, right on that little 
spot there. Take your time. Gus, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Safe trip. We're going to send some gifts your way. Gus Kushler, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being with us. And while we're spinning them off, we want to spin a message or two just for you. Now, it's time for the Big Money Super Match, where you can win over $10,000. Now, to do that, my dear, we have two of these audience matches for you. And whatever you win in these audience matches will be multiplied by 10. And that's the final dollar figure you'll be playing for. Good luck to you. Here we go. We polled the studio audience, Puff, not too long ago, and we said, you write down your best answer to this. Chester blank. If you match the answer they gave us most often, we give you $500, and that's yours. Now, if you match their second most popular answer, you get $250. Then, for matching the third, you get $100. And the good part of it is, three of our six stars will help you. Richard? Chester Morris. Chester Morris, a wonderful actor. Betty. Betty. Chester Field. Yeah. Chester Field. <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> An idea will come your way. Now, just uh, wait now. Something may fall from heaven, or a little bird may whisper oh. in your ear. Certainly. What? Chester draws. <laughs> no. no. There's an idea there. <laughs> got another one. Got another idea. Wait a second. I'm Wait a minute. Oh, you leave her alone. I'm going to get out of there. Just the song at twilight. Just the song at twilight. <laughs> Terrific one. Come on now. What's your serious answer, Barbara? Just a moment. <laughs> Come on. Arthur. Chester Arthur. Okay. That's President Arthur. <laughs> well, Hell whatever it is. Chester Arthur, Chester Morris, and Chester Fields. Uh, you can choose one of those at this point or give us one of your own. Chester Morris. Chester Morris. I guess she didn't like Chester drawers. <laughs> she didn't like Chester drawers. Either. So Chester Morris is what she's looking for. We'll find out if it's up there and if so where. We'll begin at the bottom and reveal the $100 response. Chester... Did you say that? I had that. Did you think of that? No. <laughs> I don't know. Well, well, it's a cartoon. It's hard you got that way somehow, honey. I don't know. <laughs> All right. We want Chester Morris. May we see the next one, please? There it is. Congratulations. Well, I bet I'm Betty White in this place, right? Here it is. Go. Yeah. Chester Field. Now listen, you won the $250. That means uh, the least you can be playing for is 10 times that amount, or $2,500. So that is irrevocably, you know, in the hopper so far for you to play. Uh, we polled another studio audience, and we said you write down your best answer to this. Tickle my blank. Oh. All right. Richard? Fancy. Tickle my fancy. Oh. Avery? Avery? Sweet patootie. Wait a minute. Did you say tickle my sweet patootie? Mm-hmm. Okay. Charles? Tickle my funny bone. Tickle my funny bone. So there they are. Tickle my funny bone, tickle my sweet patootie, and tickle my fancy. Tickle my fancy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're looking for fancy. Let's go down to the bottom there and reveal a $100 response. Tickle my feet. <laughs> That'll make you giggle and holler and scream Tell a lot. Anything. May we see the $250 response? Oh, Tickle my tummy. Sweet oh, we have two parts of the anatomy so far, but no fancy. We Keep want it up. fancy, don't we? Yeah. We're rooting for her, aren't we? Yeah. All right, let's see the big one. Go. Yeah. yeah. Now, here's the way it is. Huh? You won $500. <laughs> We multiply that by 10, makes $5,000. Added to the $2,500 you won previously, you got a pot of $7,500 you're shooting for. And we want to give you that money, but you've got one more little hurdle to get over. You've got to match one celebrity exactly. Richard? Okay, here we go. Good luck to you, Puff. This is it, worth $7,500. Nursery blank. Nursery blank. Now, Puff, give us the answer that Richard has written on the card. We give you $7,500. Richard? 
Rhyme. Rhyme. Well, I think uh, the audience has indicated by their applause that they think you're right. We'll find out right now if you get that money by calling on Richard. I feel like a fool because I said school. And that's a rhyme. <laughs> Puff Contreras is very happy. The thing that she says has concerned her most while she's up and down here, she's gotten so excited, her pants kept falling down. <laughs> she's like, can I pull up my pants now? I said, sure, do anything you want. Are you all right? I'm terrific. <laughs> I'll bet you are. We're terrific. We're very happy for you, and we hope you'll join us next week for Match Game PM. When we'll try to give away more money, we'll have another bunch of beautiful stars like these here on Match Game PM. Gene Rayburn, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>